Have you ever cleaned your waffle iron? If you haven't, it probably has more caked on food than the floor of your kid's cafeteria. It can be intimidating because obviously you can't run an appliance with wires underwater. So you have to be careful. If you do this every time, then it won't ever get caked up. No pun intended. First thing you'll wanna do is remove any residual grease that might be on the edges or on the inside. Paper towel is great for that. So you just wanna run it along the outside and pick up any greasy bits. Wait a minute. The first important thing to do is to make sure it is unplugged. You'd be surprised how many people don't know that. Back to the grease. So use a paper towel to wipe off any residual grease. To get in the tight spots, you can fold your paper towel and work it around those little nooks and crannies. I don't because I keep mine clean. <laughs> Inevitably, you've had some batter that has leaked out of the sides. And if you haven't washed it before now, it's probably caked on there. So the best way to attack those surfaces are with a soft sponge or brush and some soapy water. As usual, this is not rocket science. If you keep up with it every time, it will be this easy to clean. Then dry it up. Now for the inside. Basically, it's the same rule. You don't wanna to get too much water in there or it will get into the wiring. If you're lucky enough, you may have a waffle iron where the grates come out and you can run those under soapy water. If you don't, you can give them a light brushing with your brush or sponge. And if you have some batter that is caked in there, you can get a damp cloth, stick your wet cloth down in there and close it. As it sits, the moisture will help loosen up anything that's been dried up in there. Once those have been loosened up, you just kind of wipe them away. There might be a few crumbs left inside there. Just brush them away with a little pastry brush or paintbrush. As far as cleaners go, nothing too harsh. Just a mild dish soap and water is all you need. If you keep up with it from the beginning, all you should ever need is a damp cloth and you're good to go. You wanna be sure to let it dry completely before storing it back again. For more great tips like this, follow Well Done Food on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. No waffling around, time to clean that iron.